Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this PDF file and wanted to know how you could get these corners like this with a straight edge on the inside and a rounded edge on the outside. And so I recreated it and I actually cleaned up the clip art for them. As you can see, this has some jagged edges and this is sharp but that's another video. But to, the only way I see to do that, if you go to your rectangle tool and just draw a rectangle, and then you, and by the way, I've got mine set now on uh, 36 points in black, so it's bigger. I normally have it set on hairline when I draw boxes. But then you take rounded corners and let's say you type in uh, 0.6. Well, that's going to give you the rounded corners on the outside, but it's also going to give you the rounded corners on the inside. And that's not a bad look, but if that's not what you're looking for, so let's just go back here and we'll put, put back the corners to zero. And we'll go to the your outline tool, is what I call it. I don't know really what it's called. And you're going to... Uh, put rounded corners and then hit OK. So it's now it's rounded out the the outside of the corner but the inside of the corner is still square. So you can do that. Let's just back up here. So I've got a regular rectangle there. Go down to your pen tool. I call it the outline tool and just pick rounded corners. Now I've done a couple and you can also pick, so there's a square one, there's rounded corners, there's actually a chamfered corner. And so it's it's right there, just click, click on your item, go up here and press beveled corner, which to me is a chamfered, and it's gonna chamfer those corners. Now in this same box, you can take a, a flat line, and this is kind of a neat effect when you need to do something. So that's how a line would be drawn if you take your two-point line and, and hold down your control button, make a straight line, and then go to double-click on that, and this is line caps. You can have square, rounded, or extended, which I don't really see where that's an advantage. But you can press rounded and press OK, and now your line is a basically elongated oval. But if that's something you were looking for, that's very helpful. Now you can do the same thing by changing the angle. So let's go to square and let's change this angle to let's make it a little longer one direction and change our angle to 40, press OK, and now you've got an angled corner line. And there's a lot of things you can play around with inside this program. You can, you know, you can go to the rounded corners and then change your angle. And it didn't really do anything straight, the straight line. But what it does do, and I was just playing around this morning or today before I did the video, let's say you were going to draw that. You could actually go up here, go to um, mitered corners and change your angle to that. Press OK. It didn't do anything. Let's go back. Let's see how I did that this morning. Um, there we go. We're going to change it to like real low. Press OK. Now you've got really skinny lines. And if you take this and actually go one step more and press rounded corners, it does the same thing. It kind of rounded off the deal. And if you played around with this enough, you could actually kind of look like a, a smartphone case. You could add some numbers and, and draw you a smartphone. 
And you could do that a number numerous of ways. But anyway, I thought that'd be really helpful and, and help this gentleman out how to figure that out. So anyway, I hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching.